Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and have you ever lost a playing card or two and the deck is just not good anymore and all of a sudden you realize you've got a huge supply of craft supplies right there with your playing cards. Well, we are going to have some fun with some, you know, boring old playing cards today. We're going to make a cute little concertina folder. And what is a concertina folder, you ask? Well, I had to look it up. A concertina is a musical instrument. Kind of looks like a an accordion, but it works like the opposite, I think. The uh, Don't quote me on this, but I think when you pull, it makes sound, or it pushes you, make sound. It's kind of like there's something different about the, it from a uh, accordion. But anyway, that folding idea is where the concertina uh, little folder came from. So let's take a peek. Here's our little concertina folder. It's very easy to make. It's a great way to use up some scraps, and it basically does this. Yeah. So basically it's this design. Today we're going to make that big M shape. So we're going to be using four playing cards. Let's get to it. And let me show you prototype. And prototype uh, has had the cards gessoed on the face of the card. And you can let some show through or you can cover it completely opaquely. Entirely up to you. Uh, I did this one pretty opaque. Um, I think this was about two coats. And I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to show you what I used. I put some postage stamps on here and some postage related Tim Holtz rubber stamps that um, just kind of went along with postage theme. But you could put anything in here. You can put words. You can write on the gesso, the white paint. You can um, put uh, rubber stamps or stickers or whatever you like. Doesn't matter. Just, uh, you know, fill it up with some fun, something that makes you happy. And uh, so that's the way it works on that side. I used a little bit of washi tape here and also a little piece of scrap fabric here and here. And on the back, I, uh, I used a piece of coffee dyed paper and um, I'll show you how I put the whole little gizmo together. And basically, boom, there it goes. This can be tucked into a pocket or a tuck or clipped onto the side of a page. Um, what have you not. It's just a little cutie boo that you can put inside your journal for fun. Okay, so let's make one of these. All right, here we go. They're very easy and anybody can do this. Did I say that? Okay, so what I'm going to do. Okay, this is the stuff we're working with. It's called... You can probably see it best here. Um, heavy gesso, white. Um, you don't have to have heavy. Heavy. You just have no, have to have gesso. Hang on. Okay, so uh, gesso is basically thick white paint. You can also use house paint. You can um, uh, use any kind of white paint to do this. Uh, but basically, what you're doing is you're just going to cover these. You can. Uh, let me show you a couple different techniques here. Um, nothing fancy about this, but you want to use a little scooper. I tend to use finger tool a lot, but if you don't like that, you can use a glove or you can use a tool to pull that out. Put some on here. You can use another playing card or just some kind of throwaway card you don't need and use it to spread it as such. You can use a brush, um, however you like to do it. doesn't matter. And uh, so this is the technique with the spreading. See, and then you might want to let that dry and then come back and do it again. Give it a little more coverage if you like that idea. Here's finger tool technique. Take a little dab. Do, 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 Boop. Just go around and cover it. It's pretty fast. I like that. <laughs> All right, you can put little designs in it. You can do swirlies, whatever you like. So we're just going to cover these up. I'm going to resort to finger tool because it's my, my favorite. Yeah, it's fast and easy. If you put it on thick, it takes a while, a little while to dry. So you might want to do it thin layers initially. Um, and you might decide how much you want to cover up. Do you want to cover up the whole thing? Do you want to leave some edges showing? You can do uh, different styles. Let me just show you that. Here's edges showing. And these are this is a deck of playing cards I got at the thrift store for like 25 cents or something. So um, they were very well worn, well loved. It was a pinochle uh, set, I think. You know where it's only the face cards in that? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. And if you don't even have playing cards, um, you can just cut uh, cardstock or something, some kind of packaging that has about the same weight as a card. And because uh, you just want something a little more sturdy than paper to make these. You could double up paper or triple up paper too and do the same thing. Won't stop you. Nope. Only your imagination. That's right. Okay. So what we're going to do is just put those aside and we're going to let those dry. Okay, I actually put some others aside drying, so I grabbed those instead. So I've got these and we're ready to go. So let's get to it. Okay. All right. So now you line up your little soldiers like that and then you grab some washi tape. All right. Have some here. So uh, in this one, we're going to use washi tape and some material. And um, so, okay, here's the deal. You want um, 
this on the outside. I'm calling this uh, coffee dyed paper the outside and I'm calling where the stamps are the inside. So on the coffee dyed side, the outside, I have two pieces of fabric and one piece of washi tape. See that? Now on this side, I have one piece of fabric and two pieces of washi tape. And the reason why I did that is because uh, the fabric is a little bulkier than the washi tape. So when it has its natural folds, I'm going to have the fabric on the outsides. Okay, as opposed to getting squashed in here. You can, you can put fabric in here too. It'll just be a little bit more bulky. Okay, so with your M, you're looking at your M, your fabric is gonna go here, here, and down here. Okay, all right, so let's do it face up first. So this is what's looking at you. Okay, I'll just put that there so you can see it. Okay, and now I'm going to apply my washi tape here and here. So it's gonna go here and here. All right, and you can just kind of you know, measure, not measure, align these up. Okay. And it's okay if they go over a bit. And you know, with washi tape, you might want to glue this down. If your washi tape's not super sick, sticky, that happens. If you want uh, certainty, but the fact that we're going to be um, putting fabric on the other side, you don't have to worry too much about this particular piece of washi tape holding the, the weight of everything. If for some reason it doesn't stick, the fabric is going to handle that for you. All right. So now we have that. Okay. And this one is going to be fabric. So let me do that one. And for that, I'm going to use Fabrifix, a wonderful silicone clear fabric glue. There's a link down below. If you're interested in that, you can get it all sorts of places too. Um, okay. So let's put some Fabrifix here, just a little bit on either side, because we're going to be putting our fabric there. And for my fabric selection today, I am presenting to you well-loved bed sheet. And this bed sheet I got at the thrift stop. Thrift stop. Yes, I went over to the thrift stop and I got my bed sheet. I laundered it and now it's ready to play. And with one bed sheet, you can do a lot for, you'll, you'll be using pieces of this bed sheet forever. So make sure you pick something you like. Okay. Sometimes it's best just to get a white one because then you can color it any, any color you want. And you really have a lot of uh, flexibility with that. But this one had a cute little uh, brown design in it. So we're going with that. And when you tear it, you get these nice curlies and the shreddies, which look really cool. So let's just slap that down. Stop talking. Okay. Here we go. There we are. We're in. Now spread in, spread in just to get it to adhere to both sides. You want it to adhere to both sides. Okay, and we can just cut this off at the base. Okay, and I, I know I haven't folded those over, done anything with those yet, but let me flip it. And now I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold it up, fold it down, fold it down. You can trim these off if you want, but sometimes I think that they tend to peel up more when they're flush against the edge of something. Sometimes tacking them over gives you a little bit more sturdiness. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to uh, attach this whole thing. This is our back, remember. This side is this side. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now what we want to do, let's take this little kimosabi, and we want to glue him down here, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And here we go. Well, let's use the fabric fix we got right here. And you want to pay attention to the edges. Edges are important right now. Um, okay, we're waiting for the fabric fix to come down. Are you there? You're there. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to go around all the edges. Yeah, I'm going to get all my edges and then I'm going to put some in the middle too. So I'm just going to go like this. Wow, here we go. Yay. <laughs> Lots of reckless abandon all over the place. Okay. Whoop. Glue on the fingers, as always. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this back up, and I'm going to slap her down. I have an avocado dyed paper here I'm just going to play with because it's kind of fun. Uh, but you can use anything. You can use scrapbook paper. You could use book pages. You could use uh, whatever you like. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun. That's the only thing that matters. Yep. Um, all right, there we go. Got it down. Threads galore. Yep, threads. Whoop, knocking over the glue. Okay, so now we're just going to cut this out. Okay. Mm. Okay. 
All right, see that? Okay, now we have this side done, but we need to do this side. So let's just do some folding. This is gonna be on the outside. Remember the fabric's gonna be out in the outside, so we know we can fold like that. Okay, now these are going to be also on the outside because that's gonna be the top of our M. So let me show you that. That's what we have so far. There's fabric. These two are gonna be covered in fabric. This one's gonna be covered in washi tape. Okay, so just making sure my cards are right side up. If you use something other than cards, that's fine. All right, I'm just gonna slap this guy down here. So he's gonna look like the others. Just, oh, okay, maybe just peel this up a little bit and stick him down. Okay, same thing here. Fabrifix gives you a few seconds to play, which is kind of nice. All right, there we go. Okay, checking for orientation. Orientation is correct. Actually, you can't really turn cards upside down, can you? That's right, huh, who knew? Okay, so we'll just pick a side. There we go. And let's go ahead and put some strip. Uh, you know what, at this point, let's actually go around and ink it. And let's round the corners. I'm gonna use this uh, Crocodile Corner Chomper, uh, link down below if interested, but basically it chomps thicker corners. So if you have multi, uh, you know, multiple papers or thicker things like cardstock or playing cards or something like that, you can uh, chomp with uh, that very easily. Okay. Oops, no, nope, we're pulling all that apart. You just made it messy. Okay. Um, all right, so now we're gonna take some more fabric. We're gonna take some more fabric fix. And, oh, no, I was gonna ink, wasn't I? Oh, well, lordy me. All excited. Hold your horses, Missy. Hold those horses. All right, go around. And we're gonna ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, do. Ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, do. Ink it, ink it, ink it, ink Ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink now I don't need to accentuate those because they're going to be covered. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, And we're almost done. Ink it, I think it makes me ink faster when I sing. <laughs> ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it. And inking is optional. You don't have to do it. I just like to do it. Okay, so there we go. All right, now, actually, I could fold that back and do a little there just for fun. I do like to accentuate some folds when I see them. Okay, didn't show up that much on the washi because washi's sort of plastic. But, um, okay, there was good. That's good. Here, you want you want more glue? Okay, just say so. Just don't fuss. Just, just let me know. I'll be happy to oblige. I have lots of glue all over my fingers. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put on the strips. Let's put on our little fabric strips. And the basic, the thing about the fabric sticks is you just want to make sure, because the paper is not strong enough to um, handle the fold all the time here, so you want to make sure to get it on either side of where the cards connect. There. And that will give you a little bridge. You're making little mini spines here. Mini baby spines. Yeah, super easy. Keep a wet wipe at the ready because you're going to get glowy. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. going to get your fingers in it. I don't know how people do all this with perfectly, you know, painted na fingernails and all that. My gosh, I always look like I just crawled out of a chimney after I'm done. Um, that would be a disaster. Um, okay, here we go. There. Well, hats off to you people with the painted fingernails. You've, you've somehow figured it out. I missed that class. <laughs> all right, here's the last one. I'll just get this down, down. And then we just spread it a little bit so it grabs because it curls up a little bit when you've done the fray thing. Oh, birds are awake, doing their thing. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, we are almost home free. This little project is coming together very quickly, very nicely. Oh yeah, we got lots of time. All right, so let's see what we have. We have, this is the inside, this is the outside. Now we're going to make our folds so that they're supposed to be the right way. And you know you're doing it right. If you have your fabric on top of your M's, your M, you have an M, and uh, you have fabric here, fabric here, and on the bottom of the M. So that's where you want your fabric. Washi tape. Now this washi tape won't come off because it's anchored down by the fabric. So when those little flips went around and we glued the fabric on top, that anchors your washi down so it's not gonna keep popping off on you. 
All right, so I give it a little creasy fold here to make sure everybody's in line doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, so now let's decorate the inside and let's grab our volcanic Fabrifix glue and put our lid on because we are organized crafters today. And let's see. Now, if you want more uh, dent, you want more opaqueness in here with your white gesso, just go back and just put a little bit more on and let it air dry and then you're ready to go. But I'm just going to go with this because I think it's kind of fun. All right, let me just go a little closer so you can guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, okay, so I got, I just got a mishmash of stamps here. You can, like I said, you can put anything on the inside of here, but this is just something that I had. So I am going to go ahead and whoop, cut a bunch of these out. They are on the postage still. And sometimes when you have these little overhangs, hang on to those because they look cute as a collage filler. So I'm going to hang on to that little piece. I'm just going to put a little pile of stamps. Okay, you're already trimmed. But you're a little Christmas stamp. You're cute. And, and you actually came along with some some postage, some real postage stuff. So we're going to save you in a little pile. Is that the other one? Where'd the other one go? Oh, here it is. That one. That's a little number. That's kind of cute too. So you never know what's a supply. You know, just uh, be, be, before you discard, eyeball. Eyeball everything. Just say to yourself, are you a supply? And it will answer. It will. <laughs> okay, here's another area of supply I'm calling it. So if you're doing a postal theme, a correspondence theme, or you just want to do a vintage theme, um, it's kind of fun to be able to use some of the uh, overhang or the overlay of the postage. Um, looks kind of cute. All right, more nostalgic, I would say, more so than cute. Um, okay, we got four. We just need a few more here. Here's a whole bunch of like classic stuff. Maybe we'll do something with you. And I also have this beast. We'll do something with you. We've got lots of stuff to play with there. And here's a cute little rose stamp. Oh, no, and he's got extra extra stuff too. Now I, I could just, I don't have to cut these off. I could just use as is and just like, you know, stick it like maybe I will. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. You know, sometimes you just got to, you know, do what your heart is telling you to do. So we're going to leave you with your tails. You, okay, I'm just going to cut you out so you don't have too much exciting around you. And remember, you can grab stamps from your regular postage, your regular mail that you get every day, or you can buy bags of uh, old stamps online. You can buy them on eBay um, or you can get them around town, I'm sure somewhere. But um, uh, yeah, old stamps, um, you know, like they're not that expensive to buy in bags. Um, I bought these like small bags for $1.50 each and I have like a bajillion of them. And I don't, you know, so it's, they're not that expensive. You can find them, you know, don't pay too much. That's the most important thing. Don't pay too much because you can find them for less. Here's some writing. Here's some, you know, ephemera stuff there. So let's, uh, Let's go this way and maybe we'll just kind of tire you off in that direction and maybe we'll use you like that. Uh, often people will look back at old stamps going, oh, I remember that one. You know, I remember that one. I remember using that one or, oh, those flower stamps. I remember those. And, uh, you know, probably stamps will disappear and everything will go digital and we'll lose stamps too. So, uh, you know, let's celebrate the stamp. There's some more overhang. So maybe we'll, we'll just leave that. But the nice thing about overhang is we can ink it and, and anything with a dry, porous, paperish edge can be inked. All right. So let's do some inking. All right. Here we go. We're inking. Okay. We have to either come up with a different song or I have to tell you a different story. It's cold here today in Florida. Okay. Uh, we have now officially come back to winter. Yeah, we are doing the seesaw maneuver. We're going from summer to winter, summer to winter, summer to winter. So every time I think, okay, it's time to put away the cold clothes. Nope. Got to pull them all back out again. And uh, um, so, yeah, we're doing the seesaw. Yeah. See, did everybody call that a seesaw? Uh, a teeter-totter? Remember that? Um, we used to call it a teeter-totter, I think, back in Canada. Or a seesaw. We had both. But I think teeter-totter is maybe more of a British term. Not sure. Um, maybe you guys can let me know. What did you call it back in your country or your, your town? Was it a seesaw or a teeter-totter? Um, and was did you go on it or would you avoid it like the plague because you knew that your brother or your cousin or your best friend was going to get off and there you were going to go slamming to the ground. But oomph. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their mom would call dinner or something and they'd be like, see ya. And like clump. <laughs> that happened to me more times than I can uh, shake a stick at. Okay, here we have this one's kind of cool. I think that's neat. Again, you can do these in any color. And remember, just because you decided to ink something in good old 
walnut stain or vintage photo it doesn't mean that you're locked into that you can always layer over it a little bit and add different colors so if you want to make neutral stuff until you're ready to use it in a journal you can always add a little um, like maybe blue or green or pink to the sides to give it a little bit of uh, um, color anchoring to your to your journal of, of choice okay so here we have this there we go there we go and let's uh stamp first and now okay so these are the stamps that i used they were uh, some tim holtz kit which is all postage and correspondence related i'm going to try and put a link down below if i can figure out how to do that if i can i will um but otherwise just look up tim holtz postage correspondence I think it's correspondence pack. I'm, I'm not 100 sure, but it's a fun. But you don't need this one. You can this. This is like really expensive. Um, you can just get regular. Any stamps will work, um, or you can even make your own stamps. So kind of you know play around, have fun. Um, okay, let's just put a number there because that sounded like fun. What else should we grab here? How about I haven't used this one in a while? Handle with care. Yeah, handle with care. That's a good postagey kind of one. And maybe you want to go on an angle there. Okay, and it's kind of cute when they hang off the side. Um, and remember, you can cover some of these up as you're you're putting your little um, elements down. They don't you don't have to like float clear and un- unabashedly. They can be uh, masked a little bit by your items. That's totally fine. Um, why? Because there are no rules. That's right. Okay, but letter. Okay, how about that there? That looks very official. All right. Yeah, nobody's going to mess with you. All right. How about you, Mr. Special Delivery? Oh, can you believe I'm inking the wrong side? Oh, yeah. That's when you know you've you've sniffed the glue too much today, Missy. That's right. That's right. Trying to think three steps ahead. And where'd that get you? Nowhere fast. Okay. Here we go. We'll just get that. See, now I'm on video and it's like uh, the whole world knows. <laughs> that's okay. I don't care. I just got to have fun here. That's all it is. And uh, uh, maybe a couple more of these. Let's see this guy. I don't know what he is. He's like a bunch of numbers. Yeah, that's kind of cute. All right, let's put some numbers here. Okay, that's kind of neat. At rotating different angles. Um, that kind of makes the eye travel around the page a little bit, which is kind of fun. Okay, I'll just put you there. Okay, that's cute. I'll put you there. Okay, that's kind of cute. Um, but like I said, you don't even have to have these stamps if, if you have the real ones. You know, if you have the real ones, let's let's we play with some real ones. Okay, so let's. Okay, that's black soot. We don't need that anymore. Um, let's ink these up in some brown. Okay, I've got a bunch of these going. One. I got a pile here. Where'd they go? Where's my stamps? Okay, here's a piece. Torn edges always look kind of cool when you're doing something vintagey. Is that a little unknown number? I wonder what that was. Was it a phone number? Was it an address? We'll never know. I think it was on a. Let's get some of this stuff. That's kind of cool. Yeah, the old wavy postage thing. People automatically see that and they know they know postage. That's going to be a postage thingy. Okay. Um, all right. So let's just uh, glue some of this stuff down. Here we go. What should we use? Let's use uh, this beautiful bottle of art glitter glue with a little metal nubby on top, which allows you to um, just get out a tiny little stream of ink. It saves on the amount of ink that you use. It's a nice wet white uh, glue that grabs really well and relatively fast. So you got to get kind of get moving. And um, okay, let's just try that. Uh, that we're just going to be random here. The whole thing is don't think about it too much. Um, there's a link down below for this for all like favorite supplies and stuff like that if you want to check those out. So it's a lot of the stuff that I use here I try and put down below for you in case you're looking for it. All right, let's try you uh, here. Okay, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking. Oh, yeah, don't forget that this is the best idea ever. A little metal thing there so that when you uh, need to put your pin in the top so prevent it from drying, you know where your pin is. Isn't that awesome? I love that. I had to share that again. That was shared by a wonderful subby who was kind enough to uh, uh, share that awesome tip. And uh, I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. I did. Okay. Whoop, no, we don't have the same angle. Okay. See, the same angle. No. Ah, it's too late. See, it's grabbed. See, that's how fast that glue grabs. It's just like on there. But that's okay. We can mask that a little bit with the stamps that we put on it. All right. Okay. And who didn't get a little piece of uh, 
authentic vintage ephemera. You, okay, we'll give you some. So everybody got a piece. That's good. I'm going to take my glasses off for some reason. I, I can't wear them today. Okay. Do your eyes do that? Mine, mine, like some days I need them all the time and other days um, it's worse with them. Um, well, today's one of those days. So here we go. Let's put down some just that. That's a pretty little purple thing here. I'll put you on a different angle. How about we just put you there? Okay. Oh, look at you. Romania. That's a cool one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I think that's Romania. Um, probably stick my foot in my mouth there. Well, if I'm wrong, I know you guys will let me know, but that's a really beautiful mushroom stamp, isn't it? I just love mushrooms. Okay. So, uh, Okay, how about like this? Yeah. And it's okay to cross. What you don't want to cross is the actual spine. To go over a little bit on um, the material is fine. To go over a little bit on the washi is fine. But don't cross the actual bridge of the spine because then it won't, it'll pop up on you, basically. That's it in a nutshell. Um, see, now with this little guy, I can get in here and I can just dab a little glue and glue that guy down. So we have no issues. I really like this one. Let's put him on there for sure. And uh, you, you can make these anything on the inside. You could put little sewing, you know, notions. You can do, you know, you know, fairies or whatever, you know, whichever you'd like to do. Okay, let's put you maybe like that. I'm going like almost upside down. That's that's just wild town. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, and this, this, this guy's really pretty. I think he's cute. I'm going to put him over there. All right, let's get you glued. Yeah, here you go. You're all glued and ready to go to town. There you go. Okay, so I'm going that way, upside down, rotate, maybe, yeah. yeah. You gotta look what, what attracts the eye. There we go. So I'm connecting some little things. When they kind of touch, it's kind of neat in, in collage. This is a light collage, not a heavy collage. It's just like collage-esque. Yes, that's what we shall say. Okay, so well, now I do need my glasses. Where are they? Um, oh, maybe it's these other glasses that are better. Oh yeah, now I can see my board. Okay, so this is what I have on the inside. Now I'm just going to retrain my folds. Now I'm just going to show it to you. Here's my folds. Okay, fabric, 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 washi, washi, washi. Okay, so fold it up and just give it some squish. And the squish uh, make, just makes it flatter so it'll fit easier into your journal. It has a little bit of bulk to it, but it can be clipped um, to your cover. It can be clipped to the inside cover. It can be tucked in something, like I said. And also um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly go over it because sometimes the wrinkles in the paper come out more, a little bit more enhanced when you do that. Just going to lightly do that. Not too hard. Yeah, this up, uh, not um, uh, you know mandatory. It's just some kind, something's a little fun. And I think I'll just put a little stamp or something on the front to give it the idea that there might be something stamp-like on the inside. I like this little guy, so maybe we'll, we'll use him again. Okay, uh, I'll put him right in the middle. There. Um. Okay, so I think I want a word. I want a word. Okay, we could do stamp again, but no, we're going to do something. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. This is, I have no idea what this is. We'll just do it. Okay, this is charge. Yeah, okay. I guess that's how much they're going to charge me because it's underpaid postage or something. I don't know. There we go. But it looks very, very serious, doesn't it? Yes, yes, that means business. All right. So, we have it and we have completed it. And that was fun, wasn't it? There we go. We have a little accordion, the concertina folder, I'm going to call it. And um, adaptable to any theme, any style. Very fun, very quick, very easy. Just made out of po uh, playing cards. And I hope you liked it. So if you found value here, please like, subscribe and share. Come check us out. Uh, I have a podcast that you can listen to. It comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Look at these fingers. I have a, um, uh, my videos come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday in the mornings. Uh, I try to get them up in the mornings and uh, um, what else? Oh, if you're looking for any tools or favorites, uh, supplies of mine, I post them down below and um, uh, or links to them down below my in the description box. And I'm, uh, you can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. 
And uh, we have a beautiful Facebook group where we're having lots of fun. We're just totally playing over there. People are posting so many amazing things that they're, they're making and they're showing us how to make them and they're giving us tips and tricks on how to make stuff. We're doing yeah, weekly and monthly challenges. It's a lot of fun. It's all play. Come on over and join. And um, uh, it's free and uh, you can lurk and not put anything. That's fine too if you just want to get some ideas. But uh, it's a really friendly, happy crowd and um, we're having lots of fun and we're creating with Reckless Abandon. But um, there's so many different ways uh, to play with paper and I've got a million ideas coming at you. So we'll be talking to you soon. Have an awesome crafty day and take care everybody. I'll see you soon. I got to go wash my hands. Bye.